Hey YouTube, Mr. Keto Diamond here, aka Mr. KD. And your favorite little Keto Queen, Keto Diamond. AKA your Keto Guru. Just like. <laughs> Keto Cutie, aka my beautiful wife. Little Miss Awesome, with a big head. <laughs> you might be a little conceited. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this is day. 63 of our keto and fitness journey, even though we haven't been to the gym in probably a week. It's I haven't been doing still much our fitness. Fitness, <laughs> It's still our fitness journey, though. We are still working towards our healthy goals and all that. Still doing the keto lifestyle, still do doing the gym, even though we've been busy and stuff like that. And we're going to get into all that here in a second. But first, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Do all that good YouTube jazz to make this channel grow. I need a better thing for ringing the bell. Uh, before we get into it, let's, uh, let's talk about the wife here. She's got an awesome channel. If y'all haven't visited, y'all probably should go do that. It's uh, a keto weight loss channel. She does daily results, weigh-ins, talks about what she eats, what you can eat. She helps everybody for absolutely free. So go check her out. And Give I try us, to smush a little bit of knowledge in there, Hit too. those like buttons on our video. Share those videos. Help her grow. Because one day she's going to help me retire. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. You think so, anyway. I hope. <laughs> uh, so, it's time, y'all. is having two burger patties, two pieces of cheese, ketchup, uh, organic ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and a side salad with about two servings of dressing. Strawberries. Yes, I love strawberries. And the wife got some ranch wings. Yum, yum. Corey gave them to me. Four wasn't enough, so I got five more. Don't judge me. That's my keto. I had one slim fast keto fat bomb. So, uh, didn't go to the gym last night. Y'all know that. Uh -uh -uh. We had planned to go to the gym today. We was going to go to the gym today. Wife had a doctor appointment. I got off work early because my back was really hurting. It's probably the worst it's ever hurt before. And it's still hurting right now. But I was still going to go because going to the gym and with my medication was the best I ever felt with my back. And I haven't been. So we was, I was going to force myself to go. But guess what I did? I don't know. No, really. Guess. Anybody? What did I do? I know what you did. And you know what I did? I got kicked. You did it. So now I didn't. Not I only did, yesterday. Not only do my back hurt, I'm sleepy. Mm. And so, and I was still going to go, but at that point, my cell phone was down, and I, I got to have my slap cam. And, and then we was going to have to go home, and then come back, and it was like, you, you know what? To you. Just forget it. It's just too much effort, and plus, now my back hurts double because I'm out of ketosis. Luckily, it was just high carbs. Not enough fats, high carbs. I had two large chilies from Wendy's, and I knew that second one was going to kick me, but because my back was hurting me so bad today, I took a Trimadol at 5 o'clock, like I always did. It did absolutely nothing. I was in immense pain all day, so at my first break, which is at 9.15, I took another one. Doctor approved. Okay, that worked for an hour. Then it wore off. So then I normally take one at lunch, which is at 11.30. Wife met me at lunch, so I took it at 12 instead. That's my third within six hours. Cannot take no more. That's all, that's, that's it. Okay, so, and then I also had four muscle and back relief pain pills on top of that. Like the over-the-counter stuff. And that lasted 45 minutes. Then I said, told my boss, you know, I'm sorry, I just can't. Uh, I'm, I told him I'm not going to go to the doctor because if I do, they'll write me out tomorrow. But if I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to go to the doctor and get a note to cover both days. Which, at this point, I'm thinking that is probably what I'm going to have to do. So much for me being able to go and do putting all this overtime in. So much for me trying to do what I need to do to get the house done. My body won't allow it. And I'm highly depressed over that because I need to get this stuff done. 
It makes me feel less of a man because I can't do what I need to do. But it is what it is. But like I said, because of that, when I took the wife to the doctor, I started feeling a little lightheaded. And I just had three dollars and four pain pills on pretty much an empty stomach. So Over the counter. And just remind me. Well, no, three was prescription, four was over the counter. So uh and the only thing I could eat at the time would be was another large chili for personal reasons. And uh I do want to break in here real fast and say chili is not generally keto friendly, but we have found that he can have a large chili and stay in ketosis. Yes. It doesn't bother him. But I, I did tell her that I'm pretty sure a second one would kick me, especially a large. And then the Wendy's we stopped at, it just didn't taste right and it was really thick. So I think they added way, way too much tomatoes, which I told her most definitely going to kick me because it's going to be way too high on the carbs. And shortly after eating it, we're sitting in at the, we went back to her doctor appointment and sure enough, I started getting sleepy, and I was full of energy before when I went into the doctor's office. So it wasn't that. It wasn't just because I was tired. What had happened was I thought my appointment was at 2. It was not. It was at 3, so we went and got him something to eat mm -hmm. and went back. Like I said, though, luckily it was high carbs, and I'm so into being fat adapted, I will be back in ketosis before the night's over with. So it's not a big deal, and I'm not on a weight loss journey, so that's not a big deal. The only thing that sucks about it is... When, the Your back hurts. The back hurts, and now it hurts worse because I'm out of ketosis and the fatigue down on top of that. The fatigue <sighs> part of it's really hard to get through. If you've been kicked, if you haven't been kicked. And, well, the hardest part for me ain't really the fatigue. It's the cravings and the anger I want to feel coming back in. Yeah, there's the this thing. If you ain't never been kicked, you, you ain't never felt angry unless you've been kicked. Because once you start coming back in... You're going to be thinking to yourself, why the hell am I mad about this? This is stupid. Oh, but I'm mad I, about everything. But I'm coming back into ketosis. That's why. And she knows, pretty much just leave me alone. Just like I know if she gets kicked, I just leave her alone. Back away. Back she, away slowly. Because you cannot help it. You're going to get bitchy. You're going to complain about everything. And you ain't going to want to talk about nothing. And that is not an excuse to go out and do anything illegal. The judge does not care if you was kicked out of ketosis. I'm just yeah, saying. that's not going to get you out of jail. So... <laughs> You get kicked, stay home, lock the doors, don't Just let nobody leave in. Just damn body alone. Mm. Uh, it's an interesting journey of mine, ain't it? Well, you know, every journey has its own pitfalls. That's why I tell everybody, you know, everybody's like, one way to do ketosis, one way to do this. No, there's not. Because no, your body, your journey, your life, completely different than anybody else's. So, I mean, you have to find your groove, your pattern, and get into it and get to what works for you. And like I said, I've been doing it. This is, uh, I think here, I think this is day 157 or 58 of my keto journey. So I've been doing it long enough. I know exactly what I can have and what I can't have, how far I can push it. And, how, and like she, she will tell you, I told her, if I have this second chili, it's probably going to kick me. So I was not shocked. I knew it probably would. But I'm also trying to gain weight, so I'm not concerned about that because it probably will make me go up on my weight. Water weight. Though. Yeah, water weight. I take. You still haven't had enough calories. I still I, right now. I'm so damn skinny. I take anything. I don't care if it's water weight. I, I'm thinking about holding my pee so I can gain weight. <laughs> Ow, bladder. <laughs> uh, at least I got my sense of humor, right? Brother, that I ain't got nothing. Luckily, you have a wife with a sense of humor. Yeah, I got a beautiful wife with a caring heart. That's what I got. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> She's made me feel a hundred times better today just by smiling at me. Aww. That's she don't know she don't know what kind of effect she has on me. I mean, I I literally can have be having a worst day come in and she could smile at me and everything just turn around. I wish it was like that when he was having attitude problems. If I just smile at him, he shut up. <laughs> she never does smile though, so you maybe you should start. Because I'm pissed off. <laughs> maybe you should stop getting pissed off and start smiling. It don't work that way. Because yeah. then it'll be. I always hate just tell me just do. Girl. Yeah. I always hate those little arguments we have. They're usually my fault. And I'm stubborn and hard headed and she's stubborn and hard headed and neither one of us wanna budge an inch. I think I'm right, she thinks she's right. I know I'm right. <laughs> That's the problem. Not always, but I am I'm a Scorpio, I'm always right. Just leave me alone. Not always. Some some things is not always right, but not worth arguing over. Not always right. I don't. This is 
some things are jaded. <laughs> jaded, maybe, but still. You're right to you, but not right to me. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting a little frustrated with my back. It, it was getting better. Now it's getting worse, way worse than it was probably before. There was definitely something that happened on the trip to Gatlinburg. And well, you didn't really injure it or hurt it worse or anything, but it's something around that time frame that caused more pain. Man, I, I don't think it was the walking around. It might have been the car ride. I don't know. But I mean, she is right. Something's changed. It was definitely something different about, about it now. Because nothing I do is taking anything away. Now, I past two weeks, I have had clarity in some days. It wasn't pain-free, which I've never had pain-free days, but... You know, it was seeming like it was a little bit better. Like yesterday wasn't terrible, but by the time I got home, it was hurting. And the day before that was not terrible, but hurting a little more. But the day, oh my God, they wouldn't know. There was nothing I could do. That was taking the pressure off. Nothing. Normally I could prop a leg up, sit down, do something, and it would shift the pain to one side or the other or release it for, for a little while. Nothing. I'm a little tingly right now, though. Pop. I don't know why. Tingly where? All over. Don't you fall over on me. <laughs> you catch me. I hope. Don't let me hit my head. It's I'll try. Hollow. Everything will fall out. It's true. <laughs> It'll go psh, like a tower going flat. Uh, do want to get back to the gym. I really, really yeah, do. Yeah, I do, too. But uh, like I'm my, not trying to push him into more pain. My goal for the day was I was going to go... Sit in the bed for 15 minutes, then go work my upper body. Just you my chest. The hydro massage bed? Yeah, the hydro. The bed. The other one's a chair. So when I say bed, it's the hydro. Uh, and work my upper body and my biceps. I wasn't going to touch my back. But then I probably need to because that's the muscle I need to build up to help strengthen my back. Ah, it's just so frustrating. We'll get it fixed, right? Somehow. We'll figure it out. Wife has got a video she's getting ready to upload. Probably a little bit later tonight because she's got to go through it. We took a ride around downtown and uh, Salisbury. Historic downtown Salisbury, yeah. And North y'all probably should check it out because there is some cool, cool buildings she got pictures of and, and videos houses, of. Videos, yeah. And it was a very, very fun drive. I enjoyed One day it. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to walk through some of those areas so we can get close ups and better photos and angles and read some of the signs out through there. This is the kind of thing I really like, and I'm actually thinking. I'm going to pitch your idea. Pitch the idea, then. Okay. So, on the way back, she was telling me that she had an idea, that she wants to start a second channel with a different name. Mm -hmm. And she wants it to be about old cemeteries, old houses, you know, just exploring. Old Basically, and, urban exploring. I mean, yeah. it's not just houses, uh, a rock that looks interesting, a river, anything. Just anything <laughs> interesting. That's, I do like rocks. I don't know what else are wrong with me. Out, that's out there to see. She wants to start a chicken. Cool trees. How many of y'all would be interested in seeing us? Because if she does it, I'm gonna be the driver of the car motor. Because she, you know, she needs somebody, and we're gonna be talking about it together. Because how how many of y'all would love to see her do that? Comment down below, and she's gonna ask the same thing on her channel. Yeah. So too. So but I am thinking about starting a second channel about. I told her I thought it was a just cool things. I told her I thought it was a great idea because millions of people love that stuff. Old houses, old looking places, and interesting looking designs on rocks and rivers and stuff like that. I love it. We're talking about historic mansions, rundown shacks, just kind of if you ride eerie by, you're looking, like, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind that's of eerie. What we're at. Or, or if it's kind of, kind of eerie looking. Yeah, I like no. eerie, I like ghost stories, I like all of that. So, regardless of what y'all say, we're probably going to do it anyway. Right. Because it's interesting to us. But will you watch it? That's the question. Let us know down below. Now, let's get to the closing act. Y'all know the routine. Ta -da, ta -da. Oh, sorry. Her channel, link in the description. I promise if you go check it out, you will subscribe. You're not, you, I am not telling you to because you will. Because I'm nuts. <laughs> she's not nuts. She's silly and goofy and beautiful and hilarious. And Just a little The most right important here. thing you need to know about her, she knows her stuff when it comes to keto. And that's what you want. Uh, I'm smart. Also, about check out the website that she designed. She upkeeps. She updates, and she does update it regularly, uh, ketodiamond.com. Complete food list, 
everything that's keto Beginner's friendly is on there. Beginner's cool guide. Stuff. And there's even people that's put some stories on there that tell them about their success on keto. Check it out. It's really worth uh, going to. Um, my Facebook is on there if you want to add me as a friend. You have my permission, ladies. It's fine. And our emails if you want to email us. Please. I mean, if you got any questions or concerns or you need, you're having trouble with keto, email us. We can help you out. Uh, i do that later. Uh, I'm fixing my bra. Okay. Well, I'm taking it off later. <laughs> now, your stomach says you ain't doing nothing. Uh, and also, there is some treats in there. Y'all are interested in getting any treats, go look in the description and see what they are. I'm going to start adding some more stuff in there. I, the wife kind of wants me to. And plus, I think it will, a lot of y'all like that stuff. I know some of y'all don't. If you don't, you don't got to go in there and look at it. But I'm probably going to add her uh, Shashka bracelet because, yeah, they're not just for women. I wear them too, and I love them. I'm trying to get this one right here from her. He's not getting it. He just likes it because it's the Duke colors. I, I do. His favorite basketball. basketball I almost team. had it today, man. I so, felt bad and told her to keep it. Uh, I'm probably going to add that link. I'm probably going to add the uh, Keto Mojo in there too, and I'm probably going to add her t shirt so, in, into my description too. Mm -hmm. So. so. Be, look, be on the look of that. I'm not going to do it today because... Uh, He's lazy. <laughs> I like it. But I am going to do it eventually. So just keep an eye out for it. Chop, chop. Baby, it's hot in here. Uh, I must be hungry. Your stomach's making all kind of right. I'm going to end it right here, y'all. Y'all know the routine. Have a blessed day and we'll see y'all tomorrow.